Kulasa. I've got a lot of stories here, and ladies, especially you, whom not to call and whom to call. I didn't take names. I won't take here also. <laughs> There's some guys who played at night. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. And now, where do I start from? I've got a lot of stories here. Okay. They've shared their stories. I've got a lot of stories about them, <laughs> which none of you know. And ladies, especially you. Oh. Oh. So now, Kabir, that is off the camera. <laughs> okay, now I was playing in England, like uh, Kirti said, and uh, got to know I was on top of the world. So decided to join the team. Join the team hotel. So there I go, early morning, scene off, nice farewell from the club, good luck guy. Have a good time, enjoy the game, the tournament. They also thought that we stood no chance. Quite rightly so, seeing what our track record was all about. So there I landed at the hotel in the morning, and my problem started there itself, at the reception. The lady at the reception said, sir, we've got about a couple of messages for you. So I was wondering, I've just walked in, and they said, from where? From your teammates. Now I was more worried. All of a sudden, must be, you know, wishing me good luck and all that. But the message was same. Please call as soon as you get in. And these are senior players. I was wonder, wondering, am I popular? Or why is it that everyone wants to speak to me? And that too, as soon as I get in, not check in, get in. So then I realized, was all about those days only the captain, the manager, and the vice captain had a single room. We had to share the rooms, otherwise, twin share. So I knew what it was all about. Youngster, first timer, senior player, you can always be asked to leave the room whenever required. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone was trying their luck. <laughs> <laughs> so now I was in a bigger country, what to do, whom not to call and whom to call. <laughs> so the best way out was to call the manager. And man by straight away I said, sir, I've got four, <laughs> four messages. I didn't take names. I won't take here also. <laughs> So then he says, okay, Sunil, you share the room with Kirti. So I said, wow, Delhi-eyed, playing. Both of us were playing in England. So I said, no worries. Got in, checked in. And uh, we had a great time, great uh, all, I mean, as everyone has shared, you know, contribution was phenomenal. Each one had their own role to play. But by the time the tournament got over, and as uh, Sandeep very rightly put, there's some guys who played at night. <laughs> they practiced, played most of the time. So finally what happened, it was three rooms which were single, occupied rooms. Captain, manager, vice captain. Finally, I also ended up having a single room. Kirti used to walk in early morning <laughs> or half the time he was out. <laughs> so I was the privileged one with a single room right through the tournament. Once in a while he used to trickle in. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly. So nobody's complaining about it. But we had fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle and auntie and all. He used to go with. <laughs> and guys, it was a terrific tournament, and yes, quite rightly, we were nowhere near, there. You know, who's ever beat, even a, I mean, we had uh, just before the tournament, uh, Ali Shah, the Zimbabwean guy, opener, Indian origin. So they asked him about his chances, their team chances. His immediate reaction was India, no worries. 
how we'll put it. Our main problem is uh, Australia and West Indies to qualify. But then, yes, that innings of Kapil, it's never been seen or, you know, and I remember we were walking around the ground. So there's four or five of us walking around. The first over is on, one guy departs because he has to go and pack. <laughs> By the time the half, half the ground is over, the second one runs. So it was a phenomenal knock. I don't think so we'll ever see an innings like that ever again. Well done, Caps, and uh, terrific effort, all of you. It was a privilege to be part of this squad.